chuck, 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 chuck. This is me chopping. Yeah. That's what I said. I said what I said. Um, okay. You guys are on the most buck wild setup right now because I just was putting it on a chair and thank god I took a testing testing one two tree and lo and behold decapitation Jenna's away for the weekend is it no idea so that's why I'm acting like this I need something someone to talk to but honestly Yeah, it's less about someone to talk to and way more about pretending I'm Drew Munson. Here's the inspos for this. We're making pasta salad. The inspos for this channel, my biggest inspos, drew my toe cold, chit chat with Granny Pat, HRH, Trish. Not so much in, no, yeah, Trish. But old Trish, not current Trish, but I love current Trish. Um, and then maybe MJ. Black Moon Doll for MJ. If you bitches don't know, mine's Matt Johnson. I don't know whose Trish's was. We're making pasta salad. Here's what's going on. I am hungry and there's some awkward materials in the home. So instead of buying things, even though I would love to buy some pepper, some red pepper, some sweet bell pepper for my pasta salad and yes it's winter and yes I'm so cold that's why I'm wearing this is I'm so fucking cold I also just need to see if I'm in shot one second my testing testing oh yeah we're fine I don't love this and this but you know okay we're going full blown full blown I actually don't even know if we have pasta. We normally do. Another inspo would be, um, I do it for the squirrels on TikTok. But I haven't been on TikTok in eons, so I don't know if he's still pulling shit, but big fan, big fan of his work. Oh, no, I don't have that. Okay, that's fine. Oh my God, okay. We do have past, okay, we have like a, shit, dude. We only have spaghetti. We have spaghetti. Oh, this is parboiled rice. Looks like pasta. Yeah, tell me about it. I thought it was orzo. Um, hello? Is anybody home? Guys, stop messing around. Quit messing around. Let's do the rice. I'm gonna gather all my ingredients and just make sure everything looks normal before I, oh my God. And I also, mm. not looking good. Woo, I have one zucchini. She's soft. Okay, let's use our big brains here. This actually might not be as sexy as I thought it would be. Oh no, I have beans. Oh, the doy. Okay, this is way more filling. Okay. I have these hella little olives. These are my, I just, I bought these so I could just eat them and then time got away from me. Okay, this is like, we're just gonna do it. We're just gonna do it. The reason I'm wearing this hat, okay, this hat, I love this hat, it's so cute, but I called my South Park hat, but speaking of which, still haven't seen 
Christmas special. And I have that on my list. Because I'm curious, because the pandemic special was good, okay? I'm not a diehard South Park fan, but come on. I, 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 I breathe air, I speak English, you know, like what the fuck? Anyways, these, I, when I'm, sometimes they get in my way, so I like to tie them behind my head. But I might take it off because um, it's a little warm. It's freezing in my house, but now that I'm like walking around and um, chatting and I'm excited, I get so excited so easily, you guys. I feel like a kid, I don't know. I like to pretend I'm real tough, but really I'm not. <laughs> uh, this Duke, maybe I'll give it a quick, quick rinse. Yeah, this is gonna be called Intuitive Pasta Salad. And my Zook is really soft, and I don't like the thought of that, but you know. And I don't have mustard. And I feel like you can't make a vinaigrette without mustard. So that's, that's whatever. Uh, so that just happened. And yeah. Oh. You know, I'm being so, uh, oh, I want this, I want this. Some sweet orange or red pepper, bro. Some basil. I do have cilantro, and I've been putting fucking cilantro on everything, dude. I don't know. I don't know. Um, People say, oh, it's a oh, genetic soap. I didn't like cilantro when I was younger, and then the older I get and the more I eat it, the more I like it. I don't think it's a fucking gene. I, I think everyone knows what they're talking about when they say the soap taste. I honestly think that was just like a Facebook meme that nobody bothered to fact check. And then everyone who doesn't like cilantro can be like, see, see? Because that's what I did. Same with feet. <laughs> Same with feet kinks, also what I did. Also, okay, I was thinking about this. I've also been watching The Curse, so good. But in that, there's like a joke where, whatever, they're talking about cucking. And they're like kind of a sensitive topic to bring up. Like, how do you bring up that you want your wife to get fucked by another man in front of you? Um, you know how you do it? You say, you into cucking? And then she goes, what? No. You go, yeah, <laughs> me neither. And then it's funny. I think that's genius. You, you say it nonchalantly as if it was a joke. And then when they say, oh my God, gross, you say, oh, yeah, 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 I was kidding. I was kidding, by the way. And then turn that into a joke too. And then if the reaction is really bad, then you can be like, oh my God, I was kidding. You're freaking out. No, you're acting crazy right now. Like you're acting weird. Like I was kidding. Or leave their ass because they're not into what you're into. A disagreement like that is, I don't know. See if my, <laughs> uh, I'm also almost out of green bags, bruh. Do you put the oil in the pan? I don't remember. I can't watch, I, I can't do this. You guys can't watch me cut the zook because I know I'm not very good and I, could, I don't want to hear it. Um, I did want to talk about misinformation on the internet, but not in the way you think. I was thinking more along the lines of, you know, when you're a kid and you see those things that say, oh, it's a little hot. Yeah, let's turn that mama down. Um, and it says, OMG, this giant sea monster just washed up on the shore of Japan. And you're like, whoa, but it's just like a shark. It's not a monster. But is it? Because what defines a monster? But also that's neither near nor near. <laughs> Here nor near. I really love cryptid, fake cryptid photos on the internet. And when I was a kid, whenever people would talk about like, I don't know, whenever people would be like, oh, it's faked. People were just faking that. I remember being like, why? Why would anyone do that? Like, that's dumb. Now we know there's money involved, question mark. 
But honestly, I would do it just to be funny. And the word troll, I don't love the word troll. I guess it applies, but it's like, I just think it's funny. And I think it's mysterious. And I think it's giving some kids and dummies, my target audience, something to look forward to and laugh about and send to their friends and give them hope. I honestly believe that. I honestly, <laughs> sorry. I honestly believe misinformation in the form of goblins and ghouls is cool. That's what I think. I don't make the rules. I've been freestyling a lot less these days. I don't know. This doesn't have the same joie de vivre. Thinking about going to Korea though. Thinking about spending all my life savings because the thought of living off my savings is making me uh, insane and I thought it would be nice and comfortable but really I just feel completely useless so maybe if I just spend all my money on a flight to Korea I might do it yeah I've been spending money like fucking crazy and I but that's the other thing I actually haven't been it's like my grocery shopping I've been like depriving myself of basic necessities um, and I've been like going on the Montreal Metro, running, doing my errands so fast and running back in time to have the same Metro fare. Like that's the shit I pull. Uh, but then I'll just like literally just, I just booked a tattoo for nothing. And I'm telling myself that it's career opportunity uh, and I'll bring my portfolio, but I know they don't want me, but that's a negative attitude. So I'm doing it anyways. And I want more tattoos, but uh, it's getting really, Baffling being inside my head. Oh, I remembered the tweet. I remembered the tweet. Oh my god. Stop. Okay. I need to okay stop I don't need to stir this actually. I'm gonna tweet something one second Did you see it? Did you see me tweet it? I think it's funny. I thought of that last night when I was falling asleep And I forgot it and all day I was like, what was that? What was that? I just remembered. Okay, this actually might not um, When you think past the salad, you don't think zucchini but this whole thing was born from this zucchini and feta. My feta. Okay, that's almost ready. I guess we'll get going on this. I don't know. Is this, uh, do you guys even like me? I'm fucking serious. No, I'm not. Don't answer that. Okay. Now we gotta assemble it. And let's be honest here. I don't, I'm not sure. Uh, can you see me? Am I so... Okay, my hands there? That's whatever. I don't actually fucking care. Yeah, so... I don't have a Dijon. Une Dijon. Le moutard. Why? Why? Francophone. C'est moi. Uh, Il n'y a pas moutard. Mate. Uh, oh, okay, cut the French. Stop. Fuck. No. Okay, so I do have some other fun stuff. I have mail. Here's what I'm thinking. Okay, so the, what, why I said ooh? I have this summer sausage. Beef summer sausage. Oh. Okay, that could be actually sick. We're gonna we're gonna see. We're gonna see. Um so I was thinking of making the dressing in this bowl and then putting everything on top of it. But we have feta, olive. We have a second thing of olive, but I'm gonna see how much that is and see if it's good because I won't open a can if that's good. Zook, beans, rice. So it's a rice salad, but I'm not fucking calling it that. It's past the salad real nice. Um, no, not in there. I was just thinking like balsamic, olive oil. I don't have lemon juice. I only have lime juice. And I feel like there's enough acid from the feta and whatever. So I'll just do a splash. What else? I have cilantro. I have ginger, like a ginger. I, I thought that was mustard, but it's ginger, but that could be good anyways. I don't know, dude. Might be, uh, might be mild, might be mild. And I also have a Buddha. <gasps> and I have pecans, stop, stop. 
Stop. Okay, we're just gonna go with what we know at the start. We're just gonna go simple. Supplement. Yeah, I've been taking, as you probably saw, I've been, I've started, I've started therapy. I guess we don't need a lot of olive oil if, uh, okay, let's chill. If I have mayonnaise. I started therapy and I started French lessons. I kind of started yoga, but honestly, dude, I don't know. Kind of nuts. And the other question is, what else am I putting in this? Because I think it actually will be really, really. This is some time. Yeah, that smells fucking good, actually. I'll do that for now. We'll see. Sugar? Is that weird? I feel like it's not. I'll just add a little. I've made pasta salad so many times and every time I do I black out but it's always fine so um oh this stuff is good but I don't think I will bruh I don't know how to cook I just I just put my feelers out Let's see oh garlic obviously that's what I'm looking for I don't know yeah it actually sucks I don't have mustard and you say, well, why don't you go out and buy some? Because my list is too long. And if I go out for one thing, I'm gonna buy all of it and I can't spend that money right now. I wait until I absolutely need to. We're gonna make do, brothers. My bootlickers. Okay. Um, let's, okay, let's stir it with this. Is it, I just realized I'm using the fucking stove as a workbench. I hope it's off. Okay. Okay. I don't know. I don't know. Okay, we're adding this first. I want more. Uh, I want more beans than rice. That's not bad. That's not bad. That's not bad. Let's add it all. Fuck it. We're doing this. Okay. Zook. Le zucchini est ici maintenant. D'accord. <laughs> D'accord. Uh, that's something I hate about French, not to slander the French. Boy, don't get me started. Not in a way that I don't want to, just in a don't get me started kind of way. But, and I mean that in a humble way. I know that tribalism is bad and that we should. Oh, this is so gross. My hands are washed. I understand that, you know, these these internet rabbit hole, not rabbit holes, but these internet and political separations and otherizations and the reason the French are so, in Quebec I'm talking about, the reason they're like that in the first place is because of that to begin with, but also English people's race-ism burst. Like, I get it, I get it, but I, <laughs> Just, I'm just calling it like I see it, but I'm also aware that I am wrong and I don't know. I think anyone, I think anyone that is really gung-ho about, actually, no, we're not going to get into this because I got to learn French because I'm living in Quebec and I don't know French and everything's getting worse and worse. And I'm like, <laughs> and I'm like trying to learn French. Okay. Let's stir this up and give it a taste before we add anything else. I, there's definitely not enough dressing and there's definitely, oh, it's so unappetizing looking. You really want color. Here's the dream pasta salad for me. Don't know what it's called. Fusilli? That orange or red pepper, bell pepper, black olives, feta. You could end it there. And then like a nice, whatever, dressing vinaigrette thing. That's mostly just like acid oil and a bit of mustard what else do i normally put in there i think that's kind of it 
Okay, this, there's not enough green. I mean, it doesn't look bad. Okay. Let's give it a fucking taste. I'm the only one eating this, so I don't care if I double dip. The bacteria from my mouth makes it go bad quicker in the fridge, but honestly, I have a feeling this is going to be gone by tomorrow. That's good. I don't think the rice was a great choice. Yeah, that's good. Okay. I will add a bit of this though. It needs more like... I think I will add lime juice. I know that's weird. I also have this. Okay. You guys let me know. Fuck! I wish I could upload this and then read the comments and then see before I add it. I have this smoked gouda. I don't really know what I'm gonna- This is my Hickory Farm sample pack. I don't know. And this shit's super mild because it's like not fresh, so I add a lot. Yeah, I think toasted pecans would be so good in this, but almost feels like a waste because I only have those little bit of pecans left and I'm like, because I bought them for dollies. Hello dollies, the little bars on the evaporated milk if you open it. The recipe's there, I didn't know that. I used, always thought it was like some family recipe. It's literally just the inside of the fucking evaporated milk. No, sweetened condensed milk, not evaporated. I messed that up before. The Gouda, I'm gonna put to the side. Yeah, maybe I'll watch some Bob Le Ponge tonight. I have to get back to work though after this, which sucks. Because as I said, kind of mentioned, I booked a tattoo with the promise to myself that I'll show them my portfolio. Um, and say, hire me, hire me, hire me. I can't do this out of an apartment anymore. I feel crazy. Um, teach me, teach me, teach me, I'm new. I saw on their profile, it says, we are looking for a new artist to join our studio. And I went, <gasps> and then I kept reading and said, this is not an apprenticeship position. Be experienced and bring your own clientele. And I went, ah, oh, I'm gonna go anyways. I'm gonna hope I win them over with my charm and wit. Who fucking knows what'll happen? I mean, I have a theory, but you'll never know until you try. Oh. Yeah, no, jobs. Oh. I kind of want to talk about jobs that I would love. Well, no, it's I don't even want to talk about jobs that I think I would, uh, no. Garbage man. I have this like weird attraction not like I want to bone a garbage man but like I want to be a garbage man I know I don't and I know on one day I'd be like okay not only is this like the obvious like smelly but it's like you have to get up so fucking early but I can't help but think that if I were but the, that's the other thing is in this if I have I can't be in my body and I know that sounds stupid but like I need to be a guy I need to be a guy and if I was a girl, I couldn't like, and there's no way to say this without sounding narcissistic, I couldn't look like this. I couldn't be like, hi, it's my first day on the job. Like I'm a garbage man. Cause then none of my colleagues would treat me normally. They would be trying to get it maybe at the start. But I'm talking for real. Like I think, cause here's what I was thinking. Well, the first, the, the, the obvious for me, I just want to ride on the back of that truck. And when I see them going by and I see them whip that shit in there and then like keep going i'm like yeah like i get that i get you man like i could do it i could do that um so there's that i want to ride around on the truck ever since i was a kid i always loved riding on the back of things like a like a gator or like in the back of a pickup truck or like mario kart double dash how they're like on the edge there i just think that's so cool and it's so fun and so naughty and it's so like when else are you gonna be able to do that um, but as well, in this fantasy where I'm a male, I would feel a strong sense of kinship and brethren and fraternity with my fellow garbage men, and 
I think that um, getting up earlier, I know I said it was bad. That's the first time adjustment, Mama. You get on a schedule where you're getting up at 4 a.m., done work by what, 1? You're home by 1, right? I don't know. I think that's sick. I think that's sick. I mean, I, I don't know. I think, and, oh, and the last and final point. Hold on. Do you guys even like me? <laughs> Fuck, these I might just eat. Oh, it's ready. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Um, the last or final point would be, I think it would get you a, a, a better appreciation for how your city operates and how, I think you would start to hate people more because I guarantee, because sometimes I do things that I'm like, oh, this is bad. I feel bad for the garbage. I'm like, I'll like throw out the whole Tupperware. I'll put like water and liquid and I'm like this is bad this is bad I shouldn't do this but I know if I open it it's gonna fucking stink I try not to do that I, mean, I tend to go outside and like wear a mask and like fully deal with things when I leave things over sorry okay but I do think that um if like if I were on the receiving end of it I think it would just change my perspective a lot and I also think that I don't know I don't know do you guys get this I've been thinking, I've thought this for years, like deep, deep down, mostly for the truck thing. But now that I'm like such a fucking trad wife, like I just stay at home and I just like cook and clean and do fucking bullshit. I feel a really strong connection to the garbage bin because I put the garbage out every week. And the recycling and the green bin. Speaking of which, my Christmas tree has been on my front porch step for Way too long. I'm gonna eat these. Oh my god, they're so good, dude. They're so fucking good. Do you wanna see it? Here, wait, let me stir it up. If I add cilantro to this, like, what do you guys think? Yeah? Yeah, baby. Yeah, you like that? Yeah? Whoa, careful. We're gonna try something. Hold up. Oh, you know what be good in this? Stop. A little chili crisp. Shout out Jenna. I was just talking about this. I was like, I don't eat that shit as much as you do. I, hey, look at me. Look at me now, dad. Okay, also, been rewatching Community. Is it the best show ever, yes or no? The answer is yes. No, it's not, but Adventure Time is. But it's pretty fucking good, and it's aged pretty well. Like, I, I don't count the last season, and I don't count Jeff. <laughs> but, okay, I'm just gonna add a little, because I kind of just want the spice. Because it just needs a bit more, like, flavor. And the crunchy is good, but we're gonna add it little by little, and we're gonna see how we feel. Uh, oh, that even just smells good. Okay, stop. No, wait, stop, it's all coming together. I want my spoon and I want a dollop. Yeah, baby. Spring starts when our heartbeats are pounding. I'm gonna add a little. Just a little. Just a little. My god, stop. Can you relax? You're not my fucking mom. Unless you are. In which case, sorry I never call. <laughs> a bit of a dark note. Okay. This is the big bite. I'm gonna try and get a little bit of everything. Big bite. Are you, wa are you watching? Okay. I'm kidding. Hey, I'm kidding. Um. Oh, that's bomb! I'm so glad I added the sausage. It's really good. Mmm. Okay, but be honest. If I go to Korea and I take a vegetarian with me, am I just shooting myself in the foot? Because I'm trying to hit that Korean barbecue. I want pork. I want 
pork. And whatever else they got. I'm not eating that little pasta shits. The little, you know the red, I don't know what they're called. I'm not huge on them. The red, like, pasta, they look like rigatoni, fucking like. They're like squishy pastas in like a red sauce. That's not why I'm going. I don't know why I'm going. <laughs> I'm going because I, what is that? Um, oh, it's Diane going to Vietnam. It's really that. Not that I'm breaking up with anyone, but maybe I will. Maybe I'll get a little something before, <laughs> before I go and then break up with them. Just <laughs> Yeah, that's, uh, yeah, that's awesome. I should totally do that. I also have so many carrots, but I didn't think that that would go. Okay, well, I'm not going to clean up with you here, so. Any final points? I'm, um, I'm not going to eat it on camera. Because I think if I were to do that, I would make that the thing. Like a mukbang, you know. I don't think I would just throw it on to the end of a video. That's just me. Do you want to see? You iron it, should you, baby? It says that's it. It looks like a. Don't look at my floors. My floors are actually fucking nasty. Um. Let's get the thumbnail. No, I'm not. I was gonna bounce on my head and be funny. Actually, just won't. Okay, well, bye, guys. Watch Magic Mike. Let me know how you think, and then rendezvous back here for Magic Mike 2 recap. So your homework is to watch Magic Mike 1 and 2. Goodbye. Okay, Oh my god, I forgot to say this. Um, another inspiration of mine is CJ the X, but not right now. I feel like I'm in a slow mood today, but sometimes when I'm in a fast mood, I think about him. I lost my silver scissors. It hasn't been here since Trim the Tree Night with my friends. You know what I'm talking about. It was a very hard day for me. And I want them back. I know you bitches have them. Someone does. Jenna might be lying. I need them. I fucking need them. If you don't know what I'm talking about, I don't even know if I have an image. I want my silver scissors back. Super quick thoughts here. Daisy's shocked at how loud I'm speaking now after hours of silence. Um, just finished jury, jury duty, so good. But it made me think about how well, no, it didn't, no. So there's two things that have been happening with me recently. Similar to the garbage man fantasy, mostly I'm, uh, oh, it's fine. Mostly I know that um, she's salivating. She's, she's spitting. I would love jury duty. 
probably not, but I think that I would, especially if it happened like this one happened where everyone is fun and friends and we all live together and hang out. Because I'm lonely and it would give me a new excuse to put my phone down and meet new people. And yes, it's a fantasy. Also, and this one's not a joke. Not that the jury duty one is really either, but it's just like, I kind of, I'm a bit more understanding of like, oh, no, my machine's dying. Can you hear that? That's the sound of my light dying. I want to start going to focus groups. Oh. Yeah, man. I'll just turn that off. I want to start going to focus groups because I think not only, um, chill, girl. I want to be able to give my opinion because I think that focus groups make so much impact. And I want to start, I don't know if this is how it works. I don't know if you have to be pulled like from an unbiased random audience like jury duty, but I want to like sign up and start going to, um, sign up and start going to, uh, focus groups because then I can have a bit more say in like shit you know Marvel series or whatever not that I even care about those specifically but like some kind of hey some kind of big media do you, do you, do you know what I mean it's like I actually think I would do some good Okay, that's it. Bye-bye. Okay, blood part three here. I might be covering the mic. I know. I know. It's... Don't... You don't have to tell me. So, it's kind of funny. Um... I... I... It doesn't matter. The jury duty thing? First off, when I say jury duty, I mean the show jury duty. Not actual jury duty. Also, in talking with... Riley, my sister... She said something, and I quote, I want to read this out because it was actually so good. I was like, fuck yeah. And then I also have an update on the garbage man thing. I mean, no, I don't. I mean, not, not, you know. Okay. I was talking about, I was texting her and I was like, yeah, the this is so funny also with Riley's walking. She's like, yeah, I know. But it's a good point. I was like, I want that community from, if you've seen Jerry Duty, you know what I'm talking about. James Marsden. Uh, and she said, that's how I felt watching the whole thing, too. Like, I'd be the guy at the end who doesn't want it to be over. It's kind of whack, though, that we haven't built a community that involves more things like that, though. Like, we're such social animals. Every time we meet, meet new people and do even boring stuff with them for a week, like, you all get so close. So unfortunate that we didn't build a world where it's, like, free summer camp once a season to meet new homies. Free summer camp once a season just to meet new homies. Everyone is, like, locked, like, random, like, chick, 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 it's so true, but I think, and that's maybe, and this is an insane beeline, but like, you know when they talk about communism and forced farming? I'm notorious for hating commies on Twitter. May, <laughs> en français, I do think that if I was forced in a situation, like, pack animals, groups of a hundred, no phones, forced to communicate, speaking my language also, so that's one side of that, second part, the garbage man thing right after i filmed this video i'm editing right now right after i filmed this video um uh my youtube y'all know i love theo vaughn look if loving theo vaughn is wrong i don't want to be right and i actually like i believe that anyways <sighs> Anyways, <laughs> major age. He interviewed a New York City garbage man. And it's like, it's pretty long. It's like three hours or something. It might be less than that, but it's a decently sized video. And I literally, I'm going to put it in the description. It's so good. 
I just fucking, that's what I want. And it's the New York. Yeah, I'm from Staten Island. Like, I'm from Long Island. And it's my podcast. It's, that guy is literally Teddy from Note Soup. I swear to fucking God, like, I don't know. I was just really into it. Sorry, I, t- I actually touch my eye all the time. If you guys have eye kinks, my bad. <laughs> uh, what else? No, that was mostly it. But yeah, the, the, oh, and he also talked about how they got rid of the steps, like the steps that you hold on to. So the whole thing that I wanted it for was um to hang off the edge of the truck. Apparently they don't even do that anymore. And I didn't know they made great money. They made really good money. And I mean, I guess it makes sense. Like plumbers make great money. It's like the kind of jobs that people think no one wants to do, like actually pay well because hello. So yeah, I, I, but I was right though. Like I don't, I would have to be a man because it's a lot of physical work. I wasn't even thinking about this either. The trucks are huge. You have to like park a fucking truck. You have to like get a rig license or whatever. I can't do that, dude. I can't even drive my fuck. That's not true though. I have, I drive my van. Yeah. I was, it doesn't matter. I can just keep talking. Okay, I'll say this last thing and then I'll go. My car, my parents' car, uh, it's a fucking, the most common car in Ottawa, which is where my parents live. Obviously. That's so funny. It's like, and it just not I'm like posting these knowing like the four people that are going to watch it and I'm like explaining everything, but it's like, I feel like, you know, for the odd folks who are just checking in. Anyways, 2011 Dodge Grand Caravan in the color charcoal is the most common car in Ottawa. And license plates i'm kind of like doxing my fucking parents but license plates there was like a faulty there was some faulty license plate put out in ontario a little while ago so they're all peeling so i am literally in a giant unmarked van i was thinking about that like if i ever got a red light camera or whatever (laughs) i was thinking thinking about the time that i passed a school bus (laughs) with the lights i was like who the (laughs) Yeah, it was, I mean, it it was fine. Um, this was early days, and it was nighttime, and it wasn't actual children. It was, like, lands down drunkards, which might be worse. Obviously not to me, but I'm saying, like, in terms of getting caught, because I feel like, you know, glee bites. Anyways, that, that, that happened, and I was thinking, I was like, it's crazy how I never got in trouble for that. Like, that was actually really bad. And then I was like, maybe, because I have no. Like, it's fucking all gone. It's all gone. Um, and it's the most common car in Ottawa. Anyway, so that's it. Um, the reason I said blood was... Well, if you get it, you get it. If you don't, you don't. But also, like, I, I know that there's more... Like, a hidden track is not... Like, I'm sorry I did not invent that. But I just... You know. Um, a great hidden track, very slept on, is uh, the hothouse sound. I don't know if that's the name of it, but it's at the end of New Dark Age. The song, but it's from the lion's mouth. The sound from the lion's mouth. Best album ever. Totally slipped on. Yeah, they should have been Joy Division, personally. But And their song, Missiles. Okay, no, I'm going to talk forever, you guys. Oh my god, stop. Okay, bye.